Okay, this video I will show you how to convert an SDLTB file into an Excel sheet. SDLTB is uh, uh, the term base from uh, multi-term and for the conversion I will be using a new Open Exchange plugin called Glossary Converter written by Gerhard Kortmann and he's a guy who works as a software architect at SDL, but he wrote this uh, plugin in his uh, private uh, capacity. So I downloaded and installed the Glossary Converter, but unfortunately here I'm running uh, Windows 8, and uh, when I start the Glossary Converter in wi Windows 8, here is what happens. Glossary Converter has stopped working and uh, there are some uh, details here which are not so helpful for me. Uh, but uh, in practice it means that uh, for the time being Glossary Converter is not compatible with Windows 8. So let's switch to my Windows 7 machine and continue from there. Okay, so here I'm in uh, Windows 7 and uh, I have the Glossary Converter here and I'm able to start it like this and uh, I have here the same three sample files uh, that were taken from the sample package that came with the Studio 2011 trial and the one that I'm interested in here is this one with the SDLTB extension. So I will just uh, drag and drop it here and that should launch the conversion. Okay, so here it is. Now I have my Excel spreadsheet here and I have a number of uh, files uh, that are not needed uh, for this purpose. So I will copy the Excel sheet uh, back to my Windows 8 machine and we'll continue from there. Okay, so now we're back on uh, uh, Windows in Windows 8 and uh, I have uh, copied my uh, Excel sheet here. Let's open it. And we can see the sheet contains uh, seven columns for seven different languages, uh, German, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Japanese and Chinese. But uh, later on we will be interested only in uh, English and French. And for each language there are seven uh, rows and it is interesting to notice that in some cases there are two terms inside the same cell. So for instance in German here we have uh, Überprüfung and uh, Nachprüfung and here in French we have uh, Flèche de Direction and Flèche haut et bas. Uh, and they are separated by a pipe and uh, this will be uh, important in the next step. So now what we will do, uh, we will save this uh, file as a text, file and save as. And I will select as the file type here, Unicode text. Okay, and save. Now I can close this. And I'll switch to MemoQ. And uh, in MemoQ, I'm in the term base uh, section. I will create a new term base and I will accept the default. And now I have uh, a term base with two languages that match my project. So first language is English UK and the second language is French France. I will now import from the text file I just created. So it's uh, here. And I will select the, enc the encoding. Uh, I will not choose uh, UTF-8 uh, because it's not in this format. So I will choose instead Unicode Little Endian. And uh, here uh, for the fields, uh, German, I will not import it. English, I will import it, but I will match it with uh, English UK here. Spanish, I do not import. French, I import, but I will import it as uh, French France. 
and Italian I do not import, Japanese same and Chinese do not import. And now what I will do here, I will uh, tick this option here, split alternatives in field by, and I will choose the pipe character because that was the one that uh, separated uh, the f terms when there were two terms inside the same cell. And now I will choose uh, OK. Now MemoQ is importing and it's uh, ready. And let's uh, see with edit whether we succeeded. And it looks like uh, all my entries were imported, including uh, this one, Flèche de Direction and Flèche Haut et Bas. So we had uh, two possible uh, translations for up and down arrows in English. And they appear correctly here. So that looks quite prom promising. So now we just uh, imported uh, a term base from multi-term uh, via Excel into MoQ. And in a previous video, we had also imported a sample TM from uh, Studio into MemoQ using uh, the uh, uh, Visual Basic script written by Thomas Van Nellen. And in uh, a third video, we will switch to translations and we will import an SDL XLIF document, that is the translatable document format uh, from uh, SDL Trader Studio, and we will translate it uh, in MemoQ using the TM, the TM and uh, the term base that we imported from Studio and uh, Multiterm. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.